Hello everyone, this is Ding Boy, and today I'm going to be playing the early access version of Unbinary. So, the kind devs at Ledact contacted me asking if I wanted to check out the early access version of their new game, and I said I'd be glad to. Now, the really cool thing about Unbinary is that the game was 100% hand painted in VR with Oculus Quill, which is absolutely amazing. So, this game is still in development, and right now the early access version only has two out of the seven stages that this game is going to have, and it only has teleporting, but the devs are working on different options for motion. Now, you can pick up this early access version of Unbinary on Steam VR, and I'll leave a link in the description of this video to the product page, and there you can try out Unbinary for yourself. Now, the people at Ludact were kind enough to send me a Steam VR code for the game to give away to one of you guys, and I'll let you know how to enter for your chance to win it at the end of the video. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, without all being said, let's try out Unbinary. Welcome. Hello. My name is Webby. Hey, Webby. And I'm in charge of this place. This is just beautiful. All hand drawn. All right. It's simple. Get that data thing and the test is complete. All right, a data thing. That's what it's Each called. Each test proves my system works, which is obvious. All right. Since we don't have much of a choice, let's get to it, shall we? All right. Um, we can snap turn using the thumbstick. And A or X to teleport. Alright. That works. Little robot there. Got some computers. Wonder what they're doing. Alright. Now I need to get you some identity. Go ahead. Get this interface in front of you. It's like a another robot. Now put it on your face. Alright, we're just taking the interface off and putting on me. Done. Now you are a full representation of one of our citizens. <laughs> My hands changed, so now I'm so now I'm him. Pretty much. Oh, hello. 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 Hey, look. At least someone is happy to see you. Nothing to do with you though. He thinks you're one of them. Oh. Hello. Hello. So nice to see you guys so getting along. Alright, um... So we need to get through. Uh, do I put our hand here? Alright. And... Something's leaking out of the pipes. And uh... Alright, slide it over. Voila! And, uh, here's the data thing, as we go. Webby calls it. You will see my system provides everyone with means to get everything they need. Okay, I hope you know the drill by now. Now, hurry up so we can get back in time for lunch. Alright, so I guess that was the tutorial. So now we're in one of the stages. Um... I don't think we can get... We can teleport. Uh, past. Oh, oh. What's this? Oh, so that just puts me back here, so in case you get stuck down there. Alright. Um, here's another thing to put our hand in. Check mark. And another scanner. Whoa. These things are like, see these are projecting light, so now it's like a hologram that I can teleport across, that's cool. Alright. What are these things? Little, they look like little spaceship things, it's got little boosters on the back. We got a big computer console here, a lot of screens, a lot of graphs. Alright, 
Uh, something's missing from here. Uh, no battery. So we need to find a battery or something to go inside there. And uh, yeah, we can't teleport there, so have to find a battery. So like a, uh, it's like the uh, little layout of a map. It looks like. Cool. And uh, another scanner, but what's over here? Um, it's locked. That's locked too. Can't can't go through the vent. Can we climb up? Looks like we should be able to climb up. Uh, I guess not. Uh, let's uh, go through here. Wow, this uh, place looks secure. All right, so here's a uh, here's a uh, whoa, that's so cool. Looks like here's our power. Uh, wonder. Wait a second. Can I get over here? It's like these are like flashing. I can't grab them though. Um. Um. Uh, that didn't really do anything. Uh. Huh. That didn't really do anything. Anyway, I guess uh, we'll just take this over here. Uh. Oh, we gotta turn it. There. And. Uh, look. Yep. Looks like there's. Projecting down on the hologram so I can walk across, making a little bridge. Oh look, it's a uh, the robot. So now he thinks it's me, so it, there's no problem. Hello, <laughs> so cute. Here's another data thing. See, try hard enough and you can achieve anything here. Now, before things get boring, let's try something else. Here's another stage. Um. Oh, it's another kind of robot dude. There it is, another identity. It's identity. That's what they're called. Um. All right, I guess you gotta put this. Whoa, that's really detailed. To get put this on my face. Uh, there we go. Hands there changed. We go. This one has more of a clumsy look. A little bit. It looks uh, bigger. Um, ooh, now we can climb. All right. So now this guy can climb. That's what's different. All right. I I gotta say that 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 ladder was really well done. Like I know that sometimes VR games it's like really hard to get ladders right, but this one felt really good and the main thing that you really need is these uh extra grab hole like grab areas at the top here that's a really that's a really big must when it comes to vr ladders but yeah that worked really well um wait a second now that i'm big yeah now i can start grabbing these so that's so uh, i couldn't grab big things when i was the green guy can't put this inside the hand. Yeah, let's move this out of the way. And uh, pull the switch over. More handholds. Let's get up. Yep, this game does VR ladders really well. Another data thing. Right, you got the data. Let me try to read it. Hmm. Little guy's just chilling it out. Says, the system works just fine and these tests are meaningless. Well then what am I doing here? Okay, that's not precisely what it says, but All right. you get the idea. Right. Things will get a little more complex here. Alright. But those obstacles are there for the sake of the tests. Have fun. Alright. <laughs> um 
More boxes there. Oh, there's a camera. I'm being watched. That's not good. Uh, so yeah, there's, it seems like there's like a story behind this game. Interesting. Another camera. Um, wait a second. I'm not you, so how are you gonna react? Uh, hmm. This guy seems suspicious of you. Maybe he doesn't like your color. Something to hmm. do with that clumsy look. <laughs> Maybe. Come on. I'm just joking. This is adequate humor, right? <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah, 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 chill. It's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. I'll just get on my way. Man, I got to say that I do like the animations of these guys. Like the like the low FPS animations. They really go well with the hand-drawn uh, models. And the guy just chilling out. Um, pull the switch. Alright, box is dropped. And I'm guessing that we have to make a bridge. Uh, across here. And, uh... Another one over here. Yeah, because we can't teleport down here. We, have to, we can only teleport on the boxes. And another data thing. See? Different means, same results. Oh, uh, wait. You've been here before. Yeah. Same scenario? That's lazy. Huh. This identity is not a perfect fit here, but I'm sure you'll get a way round. Alright, uh, so this is interesting. So we, we're doing the exact same level again, but this time just different. Can I still scan myself? No. It's because it's green and I'm, uh, and I'm yellow. But it looks like, yeah, we can grab these. So now, instead of walking across these, like, on a projection floor, we're actually just climbing so that's cool so you're just doing the exact same level twice but with a different robot or identity so it's a different way of solving it um so we still need do we need this it's like we uh, well we can't teleport there but we there is some grab we can still grab but we can't reach over there um, anything changed here? Same thing over there. This is gone. Um. Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Yeah, alright, that's cool. So, I tried to climb this before because it looked like there were like handholds, but I couldn't because I was the green guy. But now, I'm the yellow guy that can climb. So now that makes sense. A lot more sense. That is cool. Um, and there's boxes for the ladder. Do we even need this? I don't think we do. So let's go over here. Um, does this open the door? It should because because then we can put the boxes there. Yeah. So now we just take the boxes. Man, these are really good puzzles. Um, let's, uh, let's go over. Probably need at least two boxes. Uh, that's a really clever way of doing the puzzles, where you have to do the exact level twice, but with a different identity, so it's a different way of solving it. I think we'll need one, actually. Yeah. We'll need one. Let's go. Um, but wait, there's a green guy right there. Is that gonna be a problem? Um, cause we're yellow and he's green. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's ang- he's ang- oh. Yeah, he's angry. Um. Maybe he's just fooling around or something? Let's try that again. Alright. 
That was interesting. So he doesn't like me because I'm yellow. Interesting. Can we get a pest again? Or is it just gonna be the same? Um Yes. Yeah. What? You cannot reach the data. No. You must be really proud, huh? Not really. Oh, I found a flaw. I finally justified my existence. Huh? Okay. Let's get the situation around. Oh. All right. Carry on. You just made him disappear. Okay. Um, what's this? What was he working on? He was working on something. Interesting. So apparently... Huh. Interesting. So she just li literally just snapped him out of existence. Let's get another data thing. Some weird preference, intolerance going on here. Yeah. I cannot mess things up. I just won that election. Ooh, election? All right. What election? You and me. We have a lot of work to do here. All right. I guess that's it. So that was the early access version of Unbinary. All right. So first off, I got to say that I am really impressed at the art style of this game. Like it is really cool. And it still blows my mind that all of these assets were made in Quill, just all hand-drawn. It's really well done. And I really like the puzzles in this game where sometimes you have to do a level twice as a different identity because some of the different identities have different abilities. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, the full release of this game. So like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to pick up a free copy of Unbinary for Steam VR, just comment down below what your favorite identity is. Personally, I like the yellow one because even though he's club easy looking, he can pick up heavy stuff and he can climb, which is really, really cool. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for the video. Thank you all for watching, like and comment down below, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And with that being said, I will see you next time.